Finally, I'm back. I had some problems recording and so some stuff happened between the last episode and this one. Not much to be honest. Um, I went back to Warnholm, sold some uh, items and I got back to Daspota, got into a fight and as a result Vendariel is wounded. So I will have to give her healing potion here. Let's do this. So she's okay again. I will rest here in Daspota on the street actually. I hope this doesn't get me into a fight but I have to risk it. I have to recharge the guys before I get to the next and we don't sleep for 13 hours or whatever. 8 hours will do. Okay so this is good. No additional fights. Okay, I cleared this house and there's not much going on here. Let's see what's on the other side of the bridge. What's Two this? very alert guards are standing in oh. front of the entrance to a cave, which is sealed shut by a massive door. They notice you from afar. When you're about 20 paces away, the guards shout. Go no further! Who are you? And what is your business here? Well, um, yeah, let's ask Do them Do you think treasure. we'd tell that to any common Elric? Um... <laughs> yeah, let's insult Horse them. face? Mark my words. You'll regret that. Nobody calls me an horse face and goes unpunished. Get them! So... There was two alerted guards, right? Let's see. Okay, so... We had two alerted guards and now we have... One... Two, three, four pirates. Okay. Let's do this. Um, I will keep her in the back, but I will see that she will be able to at least control one of them. But not now. Let's uh, draw them to us. Um, I think I'm going to shoot at this guy. I should shoot at this guy, right? Let me see. One of them has a bow. And it's him. So maybe I move. I still cannot hit him. No line of sight. Now we're talking. Okay. Okay, Torfin will charge and play his role as a meat shield. Shireen will go here and uh, next round attack him. It's not enough points. I think I will try to move Alric around this building. And Arbosh can also go to battle. I don't know why my Steam community is online again. I kind of switched it off, so if you're seeing some guys playing games, um, I'm sorry. I just don't want to start over right now. Okay, let's see. Um, if I go here, I have enough points left to cast... Well, enough points, but... Ignifaxus. At least I didn't use too many dice for this spell. And the better armor pays off now. That's pretty awesome. Let's uh, shoot at this guy. And as usual, Vindariel doesn't hit Torfin. Okay, now I will 
get her because uh, these guys are kind of shielding her from the archer. I can run here and next round try to dominate this guy and see what happens then. That was a hit. Seven. Okay, let's see. Be my friend. Be my friend. <clears throat> All right, that worked. So he will be fight on my side. <clears throat> Ouch. Oh, but I think I think Arvash didn't take any damage from that one. So no one I can shoot at. So let's just move here. Still not. And now we can do it. I will try the Ignifaxus again, because it's kind of a safe distance here. Ignifaxus! <coughs> oh, very nice. 11 points. With uh, three six sided dice, that's kind of okay. <coughs> here we go. can do this. <coughs> Ouch. Oh, what's that? Okay, she only stumbled. And that's not... Do we have any... any buff spells here that we could actually use? Target falls into battle rage. Ah, uh, I'm not sure I want to do that. But maybe... I have some... That's the armor rating. Don't need this. Well, so I don't have any spells right now. Turin did take a hit, but the armor was good enough to deal with it. And Alric will try this one again. Ignifaxus. Oh, he's still not dead. It's 20 damage. But he is still alive. So, maybe if Vindariel hits him now, that would be great. Okay. That was no hit. Parry can save the energy here and you please kill this guy will you ever hit him nope so Arik has some energy left not much but uh, nine points that could be used for uh, spells like like uh, removing venom or something like that that would be good right will stay there in case that this spell wears off. Okay, we have the first guy fleeing. Great. So Abash will now charge for this pirate and we are three guys battling him. He will stay there. So, no attack this round. Come on. At least one. No? Great, he parried. Uh, she parried. Seven. I think that was a five. And this was not a hit. Again. <sighs> Unfortunately, in the first games of this series, 
uh, you you don't level up too much. So I think if we get to level five in the first game, we're we're really lucky. So I used to to level up to five in the original game, and level five is kind of acceptable combat behavior. It gets very much better if you uh, kind of level up to, let's say, 7 to 8. That's really good. And after that, you become just awesome. So, I don't know how the battles will be if the game gets harder. Like, um we approach champions or bigger orc groups and now the spell is gone I think I have to renew it be my friend and <coughs> it works Oh, he flees, actually. That's also okay. Can deal with that. Kind of a shame I wasted a spell. But... I can deal with this as well. Okay, let's go here. He's blocking Vindariel from shooting at this guy anyway. So... Let's just see if we can... Oh! Right, I forgot about that. <laughs> but it was not enough damage to kill him. I will, I will get him. I mean, this is just a formality here. Easy fight. Um. Come on. <coughs> well. And he took another one without dying. That is <gasps> amazing. Yeah, so, I'm sorry, you're our friend and the only pirate left, but uh, we can't let you tell anyone that we just robbed whatever this kind of house this is. I will take a look at the map after the battle. I just hope they won't get reinforcements, that would suck. And we've seen that before. So please kill him. <coughs> this is why my players in the pen and paper group hate battles. <gasps> so some of them hate battles. Um, well, this moment is always appreciated. What do we have here? Two shields. And... A crossbow. I could give the crossbow to the dwarf. Not that um, I will do much with it. I will keep the let. Yeah, I will keep that one. Lantern. All right. Um, that was a pretty quick one. Uh, let's see what this was. A cave entrance. This was a cave entrance? Where's the cave? Is there a cave at all? No cave here. And we... We won that fight. Well, I won't complain we did it. So... Yeah, I think I will see you in the next episode. This was a pretty short one, but it doesn't matter, right? Um, 
we just did it and uh, we are still clearing off this pota. Let's uh, take a look what our experience points say to this. Status. So we're at 160. Yeah, 160 of 300. So way to go. Um, we could actually think about finishing one or two of these quests, but I don't know uh, how big the adventure point bonus will be and we're still in the month of December so it's uh, it's a risk to to actually go through the mountains we could sail around but that will take ages so I will show you on the map what we could do here so we have two quests um, two points where we could go one in Wheatsand um, as far as I remember, she has a map. We have to be careful in our negotiations, but she has one of the map pieces we actually need. And she has lost hers, as far as I remember. I mean, it's possible that they could have rewritten the same, uh, the, 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 the entire stuff, but uh, we were in Rockstone and they actually kept the original script, so also in Otaria, uh, they kept the original script, so I, I kind of expect that um, this is the same and she, as far as I remember, has a map piece and she has lost hers and it's actually in in a pretty hard dungeon where you have to fight mages, um, which is somewhere between these two or these two so on the on the road I think it's somewhere here and this is a pretty hard dungeon so we're probably not going to finish this quest we could finish this one but still I'm not sure about that I was kind of expecting that there is a quest here that leads us over to this island but I haven't found it yet so um, I will see if I can do it in one of the next videos. I don't have to go back to Varnholm right now. I will do another fight or another battle here and see what we can do after that. Um, so for you as an overview what we will do there is a, the abandoned inn somewhere here. We have already seen the entrance to the dungeon but we're not going there. There is a spider's lair either here or here and there's some druids, some pretty hard battle over here, which we also have to do to get a map piece. No, he doesn't have a map piece. He only has like uh, a couple of names for us. And then there is the dungeon of pirates up here, but we don't have any contact, so it doesn't matter right now. And I think... Yeah, I think that's it. I don't I don't actually know more of these anymore. As you can see, there are a lot of villages to visit still and I think um there is a, a big riddle up here which could could get us some XP, but also uh there are pretty tough battles against orcs and ogres, which is something I don't want to do right now. So, I have improved my armor, as you can see I bought some um, iron armor here and I found out that one of the Orc Gnosis I got in battle is unbreakable and magical, which is pretty awesome. So what else? I got him a lot of armor too. She also has a sword. There was an unbreakable sword somewhere. I don't know where it is. Maybe I've sold it. Oh no, there it is. So that's a bastard sword, unbreakable. The thing is that a bastard sword is a two-handed weapon. And taking a look at my combat values here, um, we got 9-9 nine, nine for swords and 8-8 eight, eight for two-handed, which is bad. <laughs> Still bad. So what you do, you, what you do in a, in a fight is you roll a 20-sided die, 
against this and you have to be same or lower so kind of the opposite way as it works in Dungeons and Dragons and so we want these values to be as high as possible and everything below 12 is just bullshit I mean we have to deal with it for now but uh, that's the reason why our battles take so long and I hope the next one will be as fast as this one and I hope you enjoyed this little one and the little um, yeah, roadmap I could give you for the next video. So if you like it, like it, and I see you in the next one. Bye.